Let's sort this out. Neither the banana bunch nor the frozen chicken teleported, correct? So, maybe there's a size limit for objects that can teleport. But aren't those chicken pieces smaller than bananas? We used the same chicken for each experiment. It came in 12 packs. Mayuri only buys her favorite. Juicy chicken number one. That's quite a lot then. What about salt? You experimented with salt too, right? Why just salt? We used a handful of table salt on a plate for one experiment. Nothing happened. Maybe the plate was in the way. Of course, we tried it without the plate. But that didn't change anything. Then, maybe each individual grain of salt was too small or something. <laughs> I need a clue. Looks like our genius girl's fighting a hard battle. She starts pacing the room, looking a little annoyed. Anything else? Have you noticed anything else about the phone wave? Not phone wave. Phone wave name subject to change. Forget about that. So, have you noticed anything or not? Kurisu's looking at Daru. Look like she's asking him, not me. True, he should know more about the phone wave being subject to change than I do. He's done all the maintenance on it. After all. Oh, so Oh, right. One time it sh sh shot off a huge electrical discharge. What? I don't know anything about that. That's because you weren't around when it happened. Discharge? How much? It was like a fluorescent light lit up the development room. It lasted about two seconds, I guess. What were the circumstances? I was un adjusting the cell phone attached to it. I unhooked it and put my own in. A little bit later, sparky sparky. When was that? Around noon yesterday, when you went to see Dr. Nakabashi's presentation. Oh, so that is when everything got crazy. So this microwave, or, yeah, name subject to change, kind of invention, made everything, everything weird. Maybe not everything. We're a little bit weird too, so... Dr. Nakabashi? Dr. Nakabashi? That's right. I went to see Dr. Nakabashi's conference yesterday. Come to think of it, he stole his time travel theory from John Teeter. Maybe the current John Teeter is actually Nakabashi. But wait, Daru, didn't you say that Dr. Nakabashi's presentation was cancelled? 
中止にもかかわらず眉氏と一緒に出かけていったろう。はあ。Yeah, but you went with Mayushi anyway, remember? No, I didn't remember that. After all, Nakabashi's presentation was cancelled. The way I remember it. I still don't understand why my memories seem to disagree with everyone else's. So, you were so much a girl. What about Darren? You were so much a girl. That reminds me, I sent you an email back then. Did you get it? An email? This time he, he didn't get the email. <sighs> that email you showed me at ATF yesterday. When I nod, Kurisu comes closer. It said someone stabbed me at the presentation, didn't it? Yeah, but for some reason, the Ruth phone received it a week ago. Huh? Huh? Wasn't that one of your stories? If it wasn't, then that would make the timestamp weird. I always speak the truth. If you don't trust me, I'll show you. You might send history. I'll whip out my phone and call up the history. But no. it's gone. Not a trace of that mail remains. According to my memory, I think it was about 30 minutes after Dr. Nakabashi's conference. About 10 people, including me, saw Kurisu's body. Panicked, I fled r a d i c a n That's when I sent that mail. But no matter how many times I check, there's no record of it. It should be there, but it isn't. Just like a banana inside the phone wave, and I'm subject to change. Where did it go? I could have sworn I sent it just before 1 pm. Oh, yeah, that's when the discharge phenomenon happened. The show I was watching was about 10. Suddenly, a flash of inspiration strikes. Inspiration. Edison would be proud. This is something you can accomplish with effort. Basically, I'm a genius. I turn to Daru and Kurisu with a huge grin on my face. I get it. So that's what happened. Huh? What? Oh, this is one of our Karen's usual habits, so don't mind it, seriously. Science! I reached the answer, and now the world will tremble. Slap the top of the phone wave, then subject to change. The disappearance of my mail, a strange timestamp, and a sudden electrical discharge must be related somehow. Oh. <laughs> 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 And? Huh? I understand that they're related somehow, but how? It's your job to figure that out, Christina. Hashida san, talking to this guy, so tiring. Everyone's like that at first. The trick is to not take him seriously. 
And you called yourself my right hand man? Whatever, I prove that I'm right. If we can reproduce the electrical discharge phenomenon, it should bring us closer to understanding the timestamp mystery. Daru, describe the phone wave name subject to change this status when the discharge phenomenon occurred. It was kind of a mess. I had connected my phone to a phone wave and I was testing to see if I could control it with the X68000. I disconnected the phone. I disconnected the phone plugged into the phone wave named Soviet Exchange and replaced it with mine. And then I hear the door open and launch. I'm home! So hungry. Mayura comes in carrying a convenience store bag. Looks like she's done with work. Time to eat some chicken. Juicy chicken number one. Ocarine, did you buy the bananas? Ocarine? When she enters the development room, her eyes go wide. Huh? We have a guest? Once she noticed Kuru Krisu, Mayuri bows her head with her usual smile. I am Mayu I'm Mashi Mayushi. Nice to meet you. I'm Max <laughs> I'm Makise. Apparently I'm a lab me now. Really? That's great. Another girl lab meme. Daru, what were you doing with the X68000? Like I said, I was adjusting the incoming mail settings. I was monitoring the moment in the received mail for remote control. That's why I put it on freezing mode for 120 seconds too. I made it so that you can start freezing mode by computer. I tested that out yesterday too. Mayuri, insert the juicy chicken number one into the phone wave name subject to change. You all want some? I can give you one each. With her usual ditziness, Mayuri puts the chicken inside the microwave. Daru explains what everything on the computer monitor means. Doesn't look that different from using DOS. Short for Disk Operating System and Early 16-Bit Operating System. What is this? Quantum Teleportation? We haven't read this, have we? Just... Okay, quantum teleportation does not refer to actual teleportation. In 2004, Japanese researcher performed the first successful complete quantum leap experiment. Suppose we have a twin particle photons in this case, A and B, because they are twins. A and B, A and B, because they are twins and they have the property of symmetry. If one exhibits up spin, the other will exhibit down spin. This means that observing either particle allows one to know the state of the other. This is called entanglement. The state of an elementary particle photon can 
not be confirmed until observed. For the experiment, we attach da data C, the information we want to teleport, to photon A. We are now observing photon A, C based on the property of symmetry. We know that no matter how far away it may be, photon B will change to match effectively, becoming B, C. Note that photon B ha has not been yet observed. Afterwards, we send photon A, C's information from A, A's observation equipment to B's observation equipment through standard transmission. Now observing photon B will change it to photon B, C. This process is called quantum teleportation because data C changes position instantly. However, since one step requires using standard data transmission, it is impossible for the information to exceed the speed of the Lie. Finally, photon B C's teleported data C is actually a copy, copy of photon A C's da data C. The whereabouts of the original photon C becomes unknown. This point differentiates quantum teleportation from actual teleportation. Yeah, okay. Well, then we know what quantum teleportation means. Uh, I didn't understand anything of that anyway. Uh, does it look that differ from using a using DOS.